What's up guys? Hey, what's up guys? <laughs> I think I may have had a little bit too much to drink last night. Um, but anyways, how's everybody doing? Um, today we will be watching My Hero Academia episode... Uh, <laughs> episode 12. And last week was, we ended on like an emotional note, you know, All Might lost his all mightness. You know, all for one for all. One for all. <laughs> I swear I confused them. One for all. He lost one for all, it seems, so he's no longer gonna be, you know, the All Might that we've known since season one, season two. But at the same time, yes he is, because he's still him. End of story. So this episode I think is gonna be kinda like a laid back one from like the aftermath of everything that happened. It's gonna be kind of like a coming back together before the next huge drama. At least I think so, but who knows, I could be wrong. Um, we're gonna kind of see the effect of what's changed between them. Um, there's Bakugo. I don't know. I feel like because it's such a like just a chill coming back episode. I'm not too sure what to expect, but I'm sure it's gonna maybe touch on little things. Maybe. I don't know. I'm still really anticipating the whole thing about Shigaraki, like him now being the grandson of his, uh, All Might's Pedese, which is pretty cool and pretty like heartbreaking also because, you know, All Might was really hurt by that, which is understandable. And there's also Midoriya who kind of got a wake-up call of what his life means, okay? He kind of got a huge, a huge wake-up call, like, you're gonna have to fight this guy. And you are nowhere near strong enough right now, okay? So that's a lot of pressure on Midoriya. And the thing is that um, the all-for-one guy is out now. Like, before he was, like, kind of in hiding, I feel, like, working in the sidelines, in the back and everything, while he let his, like, minions do everything. But now he kind of showed himself and is somewhat closer to the front lines now, which means it's coming a lot sooner, possibly, when Midoriya is gonna have to actually fight him. So not only is that a lot of pressure on Midoriya at all, that he has to fight him as the one that has received one for all um but he has to do it kind of fast too so that's a lot of pressure but you know what he is a strong soul and i know he can do it okay guys so that's enough talking for me you're gonna hear me talk in the rest of the episode anyways so let's just go <laughs> Some people were saying that um, maybe Bakugo realized then who like inherited All Might's powers, but I don't think he knows much about that, so I don't know if we can conclude that right there he figured it out or not. Personally, I don't think so, but who knows, maybe some people are right. <laughs> それも Yo, I can't wait for Midoriya to come up, bro. For now, we have Endeavor, though. Although he doesn't smile enough at all. This guy has a really scary face. Like, it looks so mean. Wait a second, hold on. I just want to make sure I got that right. But who's the kid? Who's Nana's kid? I don't know if I caught that. And they probably didn't say, right? 
かっちゃんを警察に送り届けたかっちゃんは静かだったアフスタスとシソキュー
um, maybe because of like the way he was just as a person he was just still very cautious of him and I feel like now he's feeling that sense of jealousy a bit when he feels like even Midori is closer to his hero also like I don't know yeah that, that's what I felt from the look on his face right there <laughs> Oh my gosh, no! <laughs> he should have closed his door! I feel like she might not be comfortable with that. Yeah, I figure. Like, I don't blame her. Like, that's her little boy. Like, I feel like I'm gonna cry. I can relate to her. I'm not a mom, but for some reason, I'm feeling that motherhood. Like, you don't know about that, though, but. And she's crying too, like I <sighs> Oh my gosh, this is really painful for me. Because I understand everybody here. <laughs> this must be really heartbreaking. I don't think that's what the mom wants to hear, but damn! Yo, all my bow to you, like that's lit, that's crazy. I know, but see, the thing is that the future UA could maybe happen after his death, like, or after he loses his arms, like, this is really hard for a mom, like, I don't believe her at all. Your mom deserves everything, okay? Better. You better not. Yo, I wanna cry. Like this is this was really Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on, let me just move forward. I forgot he was arrested. Whoops. <laughs> That's insane. Yo, this is gonna be so much fun. The door is gonna be so in like. Yo, I'm so hyped for the dorms. Like, I just know that that's gonna be so fun and so interesting and like really cool. Um, no, but it's crazy how they use the same line. Like, both villain and hero use the same line to their like next in line like he's like next it's your turn and then all might said next it's your turn like this is insane and it makes me think like is it really like oh what no now i'm starting to think about a lot of things like all for one can this quirk be passed down to i don't remember but can it be like passed down like one for all of us 
Like, did he already do that with Shigaraki? Like, I don't know. Like, probably not, though. I don't think he did that. Uh, but yeah, then it makes me wonder, like, who's Midoriya's, like, actual first enemy? Is it Shigaraki or is it all for one? Like, I don't know. Like, I guess it's both, but, like, which one's, like, the actual current nemesis? I don't know. Um, oh my god, no. But guys, I really got emotional, like... The beginning of the episode was, was like, it was chill, it was cute, it was funny, visiting the different houses and whatnot. Bakugo's house is just absolutely adorable. <laughs> funny enough that I call a house like that adorable, but it was. Um, but no, the visit, the visit with the mom was so meaningful, it was really powerful, and it was significant. Like, it wasn't insignificant, like, that was very important to address, I find, you know? Like, it would break my heart to see the mother just kind of, like, dealing with it all. And I'm glad she actually put her foot down and was like, this is how I feel about the situation. Like, guys, seriously. Like, I'm not a mother, but I don't know why. I just still can, I can feel, I can still feel for her having her kid. And she's like, he keeps coming home, like, beaten up. She's seeing what they're going through on TV. She's like, she was informed that if he keeps doing that with his arms, he'll never use them again. Like, like this is just, you're, you're just sitting at home feeling completely useless. And you're like, my son is facing death, almost. Like, way too many times for any kid his age to be facing death. Um, and it's just, like, you can't blame her. Like, I don't know if there's some people who are actually annoyed by her. Like, you can't, like... I, I really felt her and it was really hard just because I felt everybody like I felt Midoriya like he's blinded by his dream and, you know I take that back he's actually not blinded by his dream he kind of ignored his mom but I'm sure a lot of people kind of ignored their parents like up until a point where you realize how important your parents are or how they feel are or whatnot like most of the time, you're not really realizing the significance. You kind of just want to do what you want to do, you know? You're just like, oh, but I want to I wanna face my dreams. I want to jump all into it. But then it's hurting somebody that cares about you a lot. But you don't really realize that or evaluate it as that. Um, so then you just kind of neglect it. And that's really what he did. And it was realistic. It wasn't like, oh, he's an ass. Like, Midori is not an ass. He is an angel, okay? But he, he did neglect his mom's feelings. He kept telling her, like, mom, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. But he's not putting himself in her shoes. Like, she's gonna worry, okay? Her son comes home bandaged or he's in the hospital for, like, two weeks. Like, it's not, it's not funny. Um, heck, he was in the hospital and then he snuck away. Damn, I just realized that. The mom visited him in the hospital and then he just snuck away. But they don't know that, actually. Yeah, nobody else knows that. I don't think the mom knows that either. Yeah, they don't know that, that uh, they went in secret. But like, yeah, like I feel Midoriya, like this is really what he wants to follow. This is what he wants to be since he was like really little and it's engraved in him. Like this is, this is it for him. Then I understand All Might. He's in a position where he understands both Midoriya because he was literally someone in his shoes and he understands the mother because like you know the mother um and so he's like i passed my quirk down onto this kid but his mom doesn't want it now i totally understand that his mom doesn't want it but what is he gonna do what am i gonna do <laughs> i understood all might and then yeah like i said i understood the mom so for me it was like a huge like triangle of emotions and it was actually like i, I was actually going to cry if it did not cut from the scene and move on to like the ending and then the villains like I probably actually would have cried if it kept going like that because whew, um, and it was super insane how All Might his his ultimate hero guy the symbol of peace bowed like face on the ground to them it's just that scene deserves a lot of credit in my opinion a lot of the other scenes obviously are absolutely incredible and amazing but I cannot discredit that scene of basically love that's what it was in like the best way i don't know it was, it was great but i give i give Midoriya props like he handled like he once again he was like an angel like i thought he would get like down and have to like think his whole life over but then he's just like it's fine i just want to be a hero <laughs> i don't have to go to ua he brings a letter that he cherishes from kota and it's just like he is Jesus Christ. 
Like, he is literally the chosen one. Like, I can't. Um, but anyways, that's enough babbling from me, guys. So thankfully, this anime is not over yet. Like... All the other ones ended, but this one's gonna keep going, so I'm really happy about that. I don't have to say goodbye to you guys anytime soon yet. Um, but yeah, no, that's that was a really great episode. Better than what I expected. Like, I'm really happy about the turn it took. Um, and I'm super excited for the dorms next week. That's gonna be a lot of fun, I think. I think it's gonna be going back into, like, the pleasantness of the show, which is great. Um, so... Thanks a lot guys for watching, um, and next should be Devil's Lion. So yeah, thanks a lot guys and bye!